If you were assigned to Vietnam in 1970, what would be the, the challenge that you face? It would be to communicate to the American people the fact that our nation is involved in a great moral struggle and a great moral dilemma. And what you were really saying is, America, take a look at it. For heaven's sakes, look what you are doing to yourself. Look, uh, look at the moral dimensions of the struggle. And if, it, if that is the way you choose to go, at least acknowledge it. Chief Tony Boza, Bronx Borough commander until his maverick views cost him his job. In Harlem during the 60s, his leadership helped prevent urban rioting. Sensitive to the people of the neighborhood, he is still a tough cop. Strangely enough, in the 60s, this society became a little bit visible, started to riot a little bit, disorders, started to hook middle class youngsters on heroin, and boy, uh, there was a hell to pay then, and uh, methadone became suddenly available, funds, the Law Enforcement Assistance Administration was created, we were showered with goodies, and now we are a very efficient army of occupation, and the problem is invisible, and everybody's back to business as usual, and it's wonderful for everybody. We are creating here what the Romans did in Rome. Uh, we, we are creating a permanent underclass of, of uh, unemployed and desperate people. They're kind of invisible. You don't see them because they drop out of uh, the... They stop looking for jobs. They drop out of everything but the welfare roles. They drink and, uh, and they try to escape the reality of their daily experience. And of course, uh, and here we live with them but uh, they're all dressed up and no place to go and the society has no place for it. But now everything is being done by machines and the second industrial revolution has sort of replaced uh, unskilled human labor. And that's the only uh, leg they can get up on the ladder. So they're really in trouble. And if these people weren't permanently pacified on alcohol, they'd be a lot more visible. If it weren't for the ready availability of alcohol, we'd all be in trouble. So what I would say is, America, take a look around. Look what you're doing in your ghettos. You're creating a permanent underclass of disaffected and poor, uh, drugged on alcohol, on welfare, living in bombed out uh, situations, an educational system that doesn't educate, uh, a bureaucracy that doesn't respond, the sanitation doesn't clean, the police don't police. Uh, we're all here, we're all uh, very visible, and we were, I suppose some of us are working reasonably hard, but the fact of the matter is we're all failing and we're just a holding operation. Look around you. Look around, and on any day you will see a major fire set by an arsonist. There is one every hour. 